e-cigarette usage is on the rise uh, in Australia and around the world. And in Australia, the largest user groups are women of childbearing age between 18 and 39. My concerns around e-cigarette use in pregnancy in particular is that we just don't know what the effects are on the unborn baby. So the literature suggests that it's the nicotine in traditional cigarettes and in nicotine replacement therapy that has the greatest impacts on the unborn baby's health. We know that nicotine impacts brain development, so it affects the behaviour, um, memory and learning of the child. It also affects lung growth and development and it affects a range of other organs in a negative way as well. So the fact that people are using e-cigarettes with nicotine during pregnancy probably means that those children are also going to have their health impacted. What is needed now is a lot of research. Um, we really don't know the answers to a lot of questions that people are asking about e-cigarettes. Here at the Telephone Kids Institute we're doing research to try and answer some of these questions and that's looking at e-cigarettes both with and without nicotine in them. To people who are saying or have the perception that e-cigarettes uh, are safer to use during pregnancy, we just don't know. It's because they contain nicotine and that's the nicotine in, in other products that cause the damage to the baby, it's likely that e-cigarettes are also going to be harmful. My recommendations in this area are that if you are pregnant or thinking of getting pregnant, don't smoke and don't use e-cigarettes.